What's happening, family? Back with another reaction for you. Happy New Year's Eve. <laughs> well, I hope y'all have a dope one. But remember, drink responsibly. No drinky, no jivey. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're here. This hasn't dropped yet. But I got the early exclusive. So it's going to drop right after he drops his track. We got Jackson Pierce with the latest. <laughs> the latest, latest. Stuck in my mind. He just finished the video for it. So. I think I heard a rough, a rough, one of the rough mixes of the track. And I heard about 20 seconds of it last night because I didn't realize he was playing it in his live. And then he said something and I, I hurried up and muted it. Because I'm right here to hear the final product. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's dope. He dropped it on, he dropped it on New Year's Eve, you know. Wrapping up, the, wrapping up 2021. It's more fucking... Shit stomping Fucking dumpster fire 2021 Just some dumpster fire man <laughs> But yo You know what my resolution is To fucking crush 2022 It's like it's Just fuck Fuck everything else man Just uh Get it Jackson will be dropping his new album Here soon Hopefully, hopefully it drops on time, man. Cause I don't want to be waiting no more. I've been waiting for a long time. <laughs> I can't wait for that, man. Everything on it is dope. I've like heard most of it already. So, but I'll still do a live like review of it. It won't be like a first listen reaction, but it'll be a live review. I can't wait for that shit, man. I can't wait for that shit. But anyway, man, you know how this works, man. If you fucking with the homie Jackson, liking it, you know, his links are in the description. Go, go to the YouTube, subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? My man goes live. He reacts to a lot of stuff, man. He's a dope artist. Multi-talented artist. You know what I'm saying? Graphic designer, all that. Man, go check him out, man. He's really dope. My, my my boy, man, my brother. Been rocking with Jackson for a couple years now, man. Love his music. All his links will be in there. You can find him on uh, all the pl all the music platforms. You can find all the links for that in his socials, man. Just make sure you go follow him and share the music, man. Comment on shit. Let him know. Let him know your boy sent you. You know what I'm saying? If you're not subbed to my channel yet, dead sleep, dead sleep, wake up, hit the sub button, crack the bell, get notified when we drop dropping these bangers. Y'all ready? Jackson Pierce stuck in my mind. Like, is it is it bad that like I'm like certain I'm biased towards certain instruments? It's like I'm instantly gonna love this song because of the piano. It's so dope. I remember back when before I ever used a pen, and it was sometime in September. See, I never seen life resembling something I just couldn't fathom nor imagine. Cutting deep like a knife, the pain inside, not right, left with no direction. Rejected, wanna hide, though I see the finer things in life. I feel like I'm stuck in my mind. I'm stuck in my mind. Yeah, I tend to get in my feels, remembering all the shame, like a highlight reel, trembling from the. Yo, is it crazy? Like I don't know if that was intentional, but it's like the air made a made a, an extra syllable in there. Like when he's like, the first time he says "stuck in my my mind," 
it's like stuck in my mind right like so the air between my and mine sounded like own so like he like he could he can he could have literally said it too like that stuck in my own mind right that shit sounded dope man it's almost like the the air made it made a syllable that was fucking dope that, that probably wasn't intentional and that's just my highness coming through hey man i like this hook man yo jackson been killing these hooks lately notice that he been killing the hooks lately this shit clean man i don't know where he got this video footage but it's dope too no imagine cutting deep like a knife the pain inside not right left with no direction rejected wanna hide though i see the finer things in life oh hold on there was there was uh, the bars there some little subtle bars there. Direction rejected. No imagine cutting deep like a knife. The pain inside, not right. Left with no direction. Cutting deep like a knife. The pain inside, not right. Nothing left. No direction. Not right. Nothing left. No direction. <laughs> rejected. Wanna hide though I see the finer things in life. I feel like I'm stuck in my mind. I'm stuck in my mind. You see how the air between that's bro, that's dope. I don't, I don't care, man. I like his. He's getting really. He's really, man. The flow is like, it's like since I first started listening to him, man. The flow is so much cleaner. It's so much more fluid. You know what I mean? And the hooks. Like he's really, like he's really learning how to use his voice man he's not just like yo i could sing a little bit let me sing this song or i could rap a little bit let me rap some songs you know what i mean he's really learning about his voice and how to use it it's pretty dope and uh, the experiment with the writing too that's dope man learning different ways to structure and uh pattern out your your verses and you know your bars and this is cool because it's like a personal, it's like a little, a little personal message, right? And he still, he still slides in some little subtle little bars in there. That's dope. The right and left, no direction. All right, come on. Yeah, I tend to get in my feels, remembering all the shame, like a highlight reel, trembling from the pain. Damn, it's too damn real. Thoughts conflicting in my head about the way that I feel. I just wanna heal. The way I'm living ain't ideal. So the devil ain't gonna make a deal. But still, I'm stuck in my. I mean, I'm sure there, there's other, there's other little bars slipped in there and stuff, but like, this is pretty straightforward stuff, man. You know. I really like the sound of it. I'm gonna. I know I pause a lot and I pause frequently, so it ruins the the flow and the vibe of the song sometimes. So I, I'm going to start after after I react. I'm gonna let the track run. <laughs> you know what I mean for you guys, so you can hear it. My heart. About the game of life, wondering if I've been playing my cards right. Should I be reaching for the lights? Sometimes I wonder about the game of life, wondering if I'm playing my cards right. Game of life is comparable to a game of poker, a game of chess. All right, it's like taking risks and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, the the hand that you that you've been dealt. You take risks on it and you bet against it when you do that and you win you know what i'm saying you be, you get you become successful in life I'm not talking about at the poker table i'm talking about life it's just the it, the the metaphor of a poker game in you when to ride, no one when to fight. Anything that keeps burning way deep inside, taking my life. I'm never thinking that I might, but by the end, I'm hoping everything will be alright. Be alright. I'm a real note, though I don't know how things will go. Got some shit going on in my head that keeps reminding me I'm, I'm stuck in my mind. Fighting.
fighting every day, battling my demon soul. So glad I got each and every one of you so wonderful. I get real depressed when I'm alone. In my head, it's like a whole different time zone. I can be a perfectionist, making it hard as shit. I'm a biggest critic. At times, I'm ridiculous. I'm gonna say thankful for everybody that, like, you know, rocks with them and interacts with them and shit like that. Because that that being that feeling like you're alone you know and that shit that shit is bad for you man that shit is poison you know what i'm saying in my demon so so glad i got each and every one of you so wonderful i get real depressed when i'm alone in my head it's like a whole different time zone i can be a perfectionist making it hard as shit i'm a biggest critic at times i'm ridiculous so I could be a perfectionist, making it hard as shit. There's time, at times, I'm my biggest critic. I uh, get an example of that, though. That sometimes that is not a bad thing, dude. Because, like... So, we was listening to a track one night that's supposed to go on the album. And the mix just was... I mean, it wasn't, it, it wasn't a terrible mix. Like, there was obviously work done to the track. But it didn't stand out. And it was... You know what I'm saying? Like, his his parts didn't stand out in the song. It was just off. And it wouldn't have matched the rest of the album. So if he wasn't extra critical of things and didn't ask people for feedback, you know what I'm saying? Because he was obvious. He obviously heard it, and he didn't think there was anything wrong with it. He sent it. He's like, I don't know, man. He's like, it's just... He's like, I don't think anything's wrong with it, but I just want you to listen. And there, there was obviously something wrong with it. Um, and other people said the same thing and even the dude that engineered it said the same thing that everyone said um, So the fact that he's extra critical of himself does save him a lot You know what I mean? Because like I told him like if he wouldn't have been like that would have that would have been like a pimple on the album You know what I mean? Been like a big-ass bruise on the album that whole album is just super clean Everything's super crispy and bright. You know what I mean? And that would have just, just been like, huh? When you heard it, you know what I mean? Like, this doesn't match anything, everything else, you know? So I'm glad that he is a little bit extra critical of himself. But you got to learn where to be critical, what areas of life to be critical at. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't, like, beat yourself up over little shit. You know what I'm saying? And be critical over the important shit. You know what I'm saying? And the little shit, you... you And it's hard too. It's hard when we got a lot of shit going on, like when you're stuck in your own mind and you got a lot of shit racing through all the time. It's hard to, it's hard to, um, y you know, decipher between. So, but that's what, <laughs> that's what you gotta do, man. But, like, it's good to be critical of things, but certain things, certain areas. I'm not sure who produced and engineered this track. I can't remember. Uh, but uh, it came out really. It came out really fucking crispy. I like it. I like this a lot, man. I like the hook on it the most. Because it's like, you know, that realization. Plus, it's just, so, it sounds so fucking dope. I know what I gotta do to finally change my attitude. I like the the, the and you, oh produced by Mage Stick Records, so that's the where the beat came from. Engineered by Hollow, aka Banksy. I'm always gonna say it. <laughs> oh man, it's super clean, man. Super clean. Jackson slid on that man. I love the I love the introspective stuff on this on this um on this new stuff, man. You know what I mean? 
the introspective uh, energy on the new stuff. It's really dope, man. It that shows a lot of growth, like personal growth, not just growth in like you, what you're doing here, but like personal growth. And that's dope, man. Fucking Jackson is my my brother, man. I love this dude. I do. I've been like I became like when I first met him, I was a fan. Like he's family now, you know what I'm saying? Like he's family now. We done adopted him, and sorry, bud. One of my goals this year is to meet him in Roman three six five. Two of my my main my most loyal like longest supporters. You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, them dudes. They always got the motherfuckers back. You know what I'm saying? They they always look out. They always show in love. And uh, they don't even know a motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to meet these dudes. You know what I'm saying? And give them a big ass hug one of these days this year. And, yo. So, if uh, y'all are here for this and didn't see his drop, man. Head over to his channel. The link for the... The video will be in the is in the description. Head over to his channel, check out the check out his drop, man, and uh, leave a comment. Let him know what you thought. You know what I'm saying? Let him know I sent you over there and all that. Let me get this thing. Uh, let me get throw the intro on this thing and get it rendered and uh, get it set for the premiere at 10 after 12 Eastern, so 10 afternoon Eastern Standard Time be live premiere so meet me in the chat but you ain't even watching this right now so i don't even know what the fuck that even meant but all right <laughs> i appreciate y'all rock with me and my homie man big love to you big love um when you're done um showing that love to jackson man i got some links in that description man there's a bunch of goodies in there the blog space on the lg2 website people at the parallel and lg2 on twitter they're mixing a master and playlist so any songs that lg2 has mixed and mastered is in this playlist on spotify that link is in there you could check out their work and when i tell you that they got the they it's on the low man you get that service it's on the low I'm telling you man it's so dope and you get all that promotion the playlist and stuff like that check out that playlist man and um see the talent there um Plus, you'll discover some new artists that you've never heard before, which are really dope. Um, my Twitter, Insta, Gmail, donation link, merch link. If you want to drop a little coin on us, you want to cop a hoodie or a t-shirt or something like that. Uh, help us uh, keep this thing going, keep the lights on and all that, man. Everything's, everything makes a huge difference. And if you're about that life, you're a fucking real one. But yo. It's been fun, but until the next one, it's a wrap, yo. Peace.